ego is pretty much your identity ego is where you create your identity by act word or a thought and that identity becomes so strong that everything bounces back to that identity and how that identity is formed is when that universal consciousness everybody talks about that universal consciousness consciousness is nothing but the intelligence intelligence that is there in the universe in nature as it is like if you sow a seed the sow the seed knows that it has to germinate that is universal consciousness and when from that natural intelligence when the baby is born which is separating itself from this ecosystem of cells and uh, the memories then when the baby comes out of it that baby is forming an individual consciousness so it's almost like when a leaf is falling from the tree it will never realize it is separating from the tree till it actually falls down so that's the individual consciousness that we are forming when we are born and we are understanding we are a separate entity so the very fact that we are understanding i am a separate entity by the baby is the individual consciousness from that individual consciousness just aware being aware that i i am here and from then on we are born with that natural intellect so intellect is something that we are born with which is nothing but the universal intelligence which is consciousness we are calling it so it's not like a a spiritual terminology it is just the in- available intelligence in the universe from there you are becoming a part in entity which is your individual intelligence and you are born with your intellect natural intellect of pain crying for hunger so that's a natural intellect and then what happens is using that natural intellect which is a subset of the universal intelligence you have experiences so every experience the very first time you're experiencing safety the very first time you're experiencing someone feeding you that experience is being processed through your five senses which is your eyes ears nose for smell tongue for taste and skin for touch and mind though we don't agree universally mind is also another sense the sixth sense is mind that is what we are calling sixth sense so the five senses plus mind so five senses are external they see they feel everything externally and the mind makes a meaning of whatever that it is seeing externally it makes a meaning to yourself that's the six senses you process through each experience through the six senses and based on that you can only rely on the sources these three sources of information these are the only three ways you can know whatever it is that is through perception that is you perceive it as good or bad or you have your own perceptions you infer based on like cause and effects so because of this this has happened or because of this effect this has been caused or you rely on a source which can be tradition so or someone says uh don't take a shower in the night you may catch cold so you relied on some tradition so you rely on some source as an evidence base and from there what you're doing is you're actually giving meaning to your experience which you experience through these senses through this perception inference reliance on source and that you're storing it as your knowledge and the knowledge when it is repeated becomes your memory so knowledge for the first time remains knowledge and on upon repetition on lead becomes a memory and from that knowledge or memory what you accumulated or what you stored in your data bank what happens is the thought or the desire comes up because there is no thought without a knowledge so if you are not thinking about aliens at this point of time because you don't have that knowledge so it's so only your knowledge leads to your thought and through the thought you may be thinking or you may be desiring why not i do that or that's how the desire comes out so the the knowledge or memory leads to this thought or the desire and that further leads to either you choose to act on it or you choose to say something about it or you think about it and as a result what happens is because of that act word or a thought 
there is a result for every action for every word and for every thought there is a result that result however that makes you feel which will correlate with the past knowledge or memory and that creates your identity which is nothing but the ego so the very fact you're creating this ego is identity and that identity yes you can reframe it and you can perceive it as creating separation but the truth is that's your identity we all pass through different identities so this ego hamster wheel is in sim- simply put is nothing but how you're forming your identity in addition to when you're born your separation from that universal intelligence to the intellect you're born with that identity when this is something that you're acquiring this identity you're creating this identity and that identity has some wisdom so just for the discussion purposes the intellect is subset of the universal intelligence and the wisdom is through these experiences the results what you get and what you accumulate as your knowledge and memory becomes your wisdom here because that becomes innate so down as you're traveling down this uh, through this wheel if this knowledge or memory here becomes your first hand experience that knowledge when it becomes a memory and then forms an identity so that identity comes with that wisdom like a painter comes with a certain level of wisdom an artist comes with a certain level of wisdom which is from their experiences so most of the people they aim to be egoless but that is overstated egoistic being egoistic edging god out or egoless or very egoistic they are very overused overstated words simply put it is a matter of identity and we all are constantly changing our identities we are parents at one point we are teachers at another point we are students at some other point we are fun lovers at some other point and we are passionate people so we are constantly changing these identities so we have this inherent intellect from this universal intelligence to play all those identities at the same time but for some reasons we fail to understand it is the role and not everything about me so in short this ego hamster wheel is about understanding how your identity is formed and with wisdom you also can change in the evolution your identity changes which is nothing but your ego will take different forms which we will understand in the identity journey